associate head coach Brad Laird Pinchett and for Coach Jay Thomas as we look back at Nichols, we look ahead to Sam Houston State, uh, a four-point loss, uh, giving up the winning touchdown with just under four minutes left on Saturday, giving up only two touchdowns, uh, bitterly disappointing, but I thought you made some uh, comments on the field after the game of the team that were uh, pretty pointed and, and pretty on point. Uh, talk about what your reaction is now 48 hours later. Well, disappointing, you know, and, 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 and that's one thing that we talked about after the game. You know, the thing that's disappointing is, is we all look at, you know, the three hours from kickoff to the end of the game, and, and, and everything is reflected on that as far as a win or loss based on the score. But the thing that gets disappointing is, is you watch these young men and coaches, you know, Sunday through Friday, uh, the, the hard work and effort that they put into it. And, and that's what makes it so disappointing. And, and I wanted to make that clear that, that, that we do understand that we all hurt. Uh, but the thing that we also got to understand is we got to move forward. Uh, the opportunities that lie ahead for, for Northwestern State University are all there. Uh, it's a matter of us building on the things that we can control. And, and once that game was over with, there's nothing we can control about the outcome of that, but we can control the future. And, uh, and so I think that's the main thing that we need to focus on as far as a football team uh, to, to prepare this week to be the best that we can Saturday at 345. Uh, a lot of good things on the defensive side Saturday. Uh, talk about some of those. Well, Doug, the first thing that, that I, when I talked to the team uh, Sunday night, or the, the defense, is, is I told them uh, the effort and energy. You know, I tell you what, we, it, it makes it a lot easier for us coaches to stand in front of those guys after watching their effort and energy because we all make mistakes. You know, starting with me and, 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 and the ones that played in the football game, we make mistakes, but the effort and energy's got to be there. Um, you know, we did create some turnovers there, I guess, uh, the beginning of the second half, something that we didn't do the week before. We eliminated the big plays uh, that we'd had the week before. So, you know, we, we made it personal, uh, you know, as far as to correct the mistakes that we made. And, and uh, you know, and I made some that first drive, and, and it kind of got me, you know, with, with uh, the, the quarterback that played. I had to kind of change the way that, that I thought a little bit. Um, and, but, but our guys, you know, after that first drive, were locked in. Great energy. You know, we left some plays out there. Now that's, that's, and you look back, that's a disappointing thing. Uh, um, you know, not, not only that first drive, we had opportunities to get off the field, but right before half. You know, it's, it's about a minute and 20 left. We still got one timeout. They throw an incomplete pass, and we're fixing to get the ball back. It could be a, we, we could block the punt or get good field position because Hayden Bourgeois was doing a good job on punt return, and we get a personal foul. Um, you know, that, that's, that's tough to overcome. And then the second down after that, I don't know if you remember, the, the quarterback gets outside and he fumbles the football. And we got an opportunity right there. To, you got to take advantage of, uh, of those opportunities, and, and we didn't. And then the last drive, you know, it's, uh, I guess I get the ball to plus 40 and got them third and 17 and, and make that mistake. But still, our guys continued to play, and we had another opportunity on third and eight. And, you know, so. Uh, a lot of good things that this football team did, very proud of them, but, but we also left some plays out there, and, and that's the thing that I wanted them to, to, to make sure they saw, that, uh, that we've got to be consistent with those plays. Now you turn your attention to a Sam Houston team that obviously has one of the best offenses in the country, um, an All-American quarterback back, uh, plenty to prepare for. Mm -hmm. um, how, from an overall team perspective, do you approach this game? You know, we're, we're going to prepare Sunday through Friday just, just like we do. Granted, it's a different, uh, it's a different football team, that, but, but each week it's different. You know, each week each team is different. They, they, they got their good and their bad and what they do. And, yeah, you look at Sam, they got a good football team. A lot of experience back on the offensive side of the ball. You know, you talk about uh, not only the quarterback but the receivers that are back. But, uh, you know, they, they got some uh, two or three running backs that will that, uh, hurt you as far as running the football. So. Um, you know, it all, it all goes, you know, how Briscoe goes, but they, they're able to run the football. And a very talented offense, they can change paces on you. Uh, you know, so we'll have to do a good job uh, throughout the week preparing. And, and again, being in the right spot, having great eyes, but being able to tackle in space. They get you in space where you got to make those one-on-one -on -one tackles. And, and we were better last week at doing that, and we got to be better this week. Okay. Uh, from a perspective of last week's defensive performance, maybe building a little momentum, is that any positive factor going into this game? Well, I think the, the thing last week, Doug, was, was um, you know, we were very disappointed uh, after Southeastern, myself included at, at myself. And so 
Um, did, did we work any harder? No, you know, we didn't. But, but, I, but I thought we had a better mind frame uh, throughout the week. And, and we're going to need that this week. And we've we got to have that as we continue to move forward each and every day. And that's what I told the guys on Sunday. You know, the, the focus that they had on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, it, it, is, was it 100% where it needed to be? No. But we're gaining to where we need to be on Saturday. And, and I expect the same this week to be better uh, come Saturday. When you're playing an opponent like a nationally ranked team, can that provide even more focus uh, for a football team? Uh, you know, it should. And, and I'm kind of different because I think the focus should be there no matter what. But, um, you know, you turn on the film and what they've done in the past and, and, the, and the program that they've built over the last several years, uh, you can't hide it from anybody. So, you know, to have that opportunity to play a top – 10 ranked team, you know, just like last week to play a top 25 team. I mean, you know, that's where we want this program to go. So in order to get there, you got to beat those those type of teams and you got to get to their level. So that's where we're wanting to go. So we enjoy having the opportunity to play those guys to see where we are and where we need to go. Thank you, coach. Thank you.